Well, the big focus story for us in this bulletin, the Me Too storm now in uh, the South Kerala as well as Karnataka after uh, the Me Too allegations have spiraled across the South film industries. Now it is the turn for Telangana with choreographer uh, Jani Master facing the heat. The Telangana Film Chamber has removed uh, the choreographer against whom sexual harassment charges have been levelled by a female choreographer. She filed the complaint uh, and the Telugu Film Chamber has taken note of the complaint that she filed. A committee has now been formed in order to address the case and file an interim report. So, Me Too Storm, they're spiralling across the southern film industry. To talk more about this, we're joined by NDTV's Uma Sudhir at the moment. Uma, thanks very much for being with us this morning. Break it down for us. What are the latest slew of allegations? Is it a single case right now? Are we expecting this to spiral like the Mollywood Me Too movement? So this complaint from this choreographer came a little while ago. In fact, it came as uh, in some other form is what we are being told. It was uh, some other seniors in the industry were alerted to this young choreographer not being able to get work that even though she had paid up uh, the money of about six and a half lakh rupees to part, be part of the union of choreographers, she was not being given support by the union and that's what had first come to light and subsequently when some seniors inquired, that is when they realized that there's a sordid story of uh, uh, harassment, abuse of this girl over several years and uh, uh, what we understand from the FIR that we had reported about a uh, couple of days ago is that uh, this young choreographer was working as an assistant director with uh, Jani Master who is a very well-known choreographer to his credit several uh, big films uh, Ala Vaikuntha Pramulo uh, and also Pushpa and several others he's worked with all the top stars I must say of this generation uh, as a successful choreographer and against him she has put these allegations saying that since 2019 when she joined him there have been repeated instances of sexual abuse and harassment as well. Uh, subsequently, the Telugu Film Chambers of Com uh, Commerce has, uh, uh, has a, in fact, a panel, a sexual harassment, pa uh, you know, addressal pa addressing panel, and that panel, redressal panel, and they had, in fact, uh, spoken to the girl. They have taken a statement from the girl as well as from Jani Master, and the inquiry is still going on. They've come out with an interim report, but they are uh, going to be uh, coming out with a final report soon enough. And uh, what they have also said is that since this girl is now only about 21, 22 and she's alleging harassment about five years ago when she would have actually been a minor and uh, uh, therefore the POXO sections would be uh, followed and therefore in this case they had uh, asked her to go to the police and file an FIR. So today the police is expected to take a statement from this uh, girl about what had transpired uh, and in what ways she had been harassed uh, by this Jani master. The development also is that the union of choreographers they have been asked to keep uh, the post of president that Jani Master was occupying, that in abeyance, pending this uh, probe that is happening by both the uh, sexual harassment redressal panel as well as the police FAR that's been filed in this particular case. Even as this is happening, one more complaint has come, come up from an actress, Poonam Kaur, who has in fact said that the Movie Artists Association, which is called Ma, if they had taken a complaint against her, she would have not faced uh, the harassment and she has named again another top director and script writer in the uh, Tollywood industry and uh, she has said that her uh, complaint has not been heard and now the uh, sexual harassment redressal panel is uh, asking for her uh, to give a written complaint uh, detailing what the uh, allegations that she is making against this director and also trying to see whether it falls within the ambit of uh, the workplace sexual harassment uh, as understood under portion the law uh, which enables internal committees to operate. So what is clear is that there is no internal committee no LC that is existing and they want a structured kind of a way in which these complaints can be addressed and that's the reason why we understand uh, the chairperson of this uh, sexual harassment redressal committee the person who's heading in fact the probe committee uh, in the case of the young choreographer as well she had also along with certain other uh, colleagues yes. uh, met with the director general of uh, women's safety in uh, Hyderabad and uh, tried to see how what kind of structures they can put in place in order to take this forward and also asking for a committee report that was uh, earlier mentioned and submitted to the earlier government of the BRS government asking that to be made public as well.
Right, Uma, I also want to ask you, you know, the larger picture over here, you reported extensively uh, on the Me Too storm in the Kerala film industry as well, in the Malayalam film industry, and then subsequently we've been covering how, uh, you know, now there is a demand that is growing uh, within Karnataka as well uh, for, you know, a, a panel, so to speak, to be set up to look into the larger issue of sexual harassment charges against women working in the industry as well as their working conditions. Do you believe in a certain sense that the Me Too movement in the Malayalam film industry has now spiraled, emboldening many others to come and speak about what has so far been the elephant in the room? Absolutely, because it is after the HEMA committee report that the debate once again started about the kind of harassment that's happening. And for the first time, we saw, uh, 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 you know, a government appointed commission headed by a justice and also having an IAS officer and a very senior artist, national award winning artist, Charda, part of the panel, Valsar Kumari, IAS officer. And uh, the contents of that report is something that uh, resonated with the industry across. So while there were instances that have been mentioned in the HEMA commission report, uh, uh, what you under what everyone started seeing was the parallels that were there in other industries for instance this young choreographer has not actually complained about sexual harassment even though she has gone through uh, a very very uh, traumatic experience even when she was a minor and that continued for several years and uh, it is only when she left this particular uh, uh, you know master's uh, group and started her own work that she st stopped getting work and there was harassment and subsequently this has come out we when we spoke to radhika shivkumar you uh, Radhika Sharat Kumar in Chennai as well. She spoke about several instances where uh, that kind of harassment, uh, uh, someone as senior as her has come uh, and it has come to her notice and she spoke about how when women are changing in dressing rooms and that becomes a matter of joke. In fact, after this young choreographer's uh, complaint that has come, there is a video that's doing the round that's gone viral in a uh, dance show where, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, double, uh, should I say, inventory is being uh, done about uh, what kind of uh, uh, sexual life this dance master has and it has all been made into a joke as though it is uh, something that is acceptable to talk about or laugh about or joke about. So the debate about taking this seriously certainly coming uh, with the HEMA committee report and uh, slowly we are seeing uh, actors in Karnataka or in uh, even Tamil Nadu or uh, of course now Tollywood coming forward, not just the actors but uh, several other people related to the industry, the technicians, the choreographers uh, beginning to talk about the issues of harassment that they face and the fact that there are structural issues here there are no internal committees that uh, you know film production units are able to have and therefore they are looking to perhaps what the Kerala model could be where they are talking about bringing in a law that will create a statutory body where these film related complaints can go.